Hi guys, this is Tasha. If you're new to my channel, welcome to the crib. For my returning positive supporters and subscribers, welcome back. Come on in and get comfortable. Guys, I want to introduce you to the Paper Caddy 2.0. Yes, this is it. And let me tell you the reason and why I'm calling it uh, 2.0. Miss Paulette Fuller, she saw my video and she said she just had to try it. And she even put in the comments that she wanted to change the pockets if it was okay. And I'm like, yeah, girl, do you. And she made the most gorgeous bags, three of them to be precise, that had her gusseted pockets. Now, let me tell you this right now. Did Miss Paulette create the gusseted pocket? No. But did she introduce me to the gusseted pocket on my original design? Yes, she did. So this is the uh, paper caddy. I'm sorry. <coughs> so I'm, I'm calling this the paper craft caddy 2.0 with the Paulette pocket. Okay? There it is. And here are the gusseted pockets. It just looks so structured to me. I love this. It took a great design to me and just took it to the next level. But let me show you the other one, the, the blue one, the one that I told you that I like better because the pocket size was bigger. And it's this one. And do I love this bag? Yes. There is absolutely nothing wrong with this bag. Now, I can tell you, for me, I don't know, can they both get in? Yeah. For me, the bag with the gusseted pockets is very structured. To me, it's very masculine because of the lines, but that doesn't mean that I would only get this to men. It's, it's not like that. It just means to me that it's very structured. This one is very free-flowing, has with the more curvatures in it. And to me, this would be a more feminine bag. But can I give this to a man? Yes. Can I give the one that I say is more masculine and more structured to a woman? Yes, I can. But to me, in my eyes, that's how they look. And do I love these bags equally? Yes, please believe that I do. But I am going to update my uh, Craft Caddy, my Paper Craft Caddy, to 2.0 using the Paulette Pocket. Okay, so let's get started. I've done most of the work already. I'm not going to go through a whole, whole lot of this because I've done it in the first video, which I'll link just in case, okay? I did make one small change, and that is to this, um, this, this part right here, and I will explain that. Okay, we're going to take the first 12 by 12. And we're going to score it at three eighths inch, three and a half inches, eight and a half inches, and eleven and five eight inches. Or you can just turn it and score it at three eighths inches. Then you're going to do a quarter turn, and at the quarter turn you're going to score it at three inches and at nine inches. And let's go ahead on and put this part together. Then we're going to get to the middle part. Okay, you're going to. Go ahead on, you're going to fold on all of the score lines like I have done here. And then these little pieces right here on the corner, if you want to take them out, you can. But if not, you can leave them, that's fine. What we're going to do is we're going to cut. We're going to release the flaps, okay? And on this side right here that has the 3 8 of an inch uh, score line, we're going to cut down to this score line here. We're going to do that on both sides. And this is going to be the base of our caddy. Okay. And then it'll look like this. So what we're going to do now is basically put this box together. So let me find my adhesive. Here we go. This is what is it? Rep this is some reptile glue that I put in this little container here. And 
I'm just going to put it here. And if you have, what is it? If you have the tape, the double-sided stick tape, that's fine. If it, if you can get it to work for you, work with it. Work with it. And then I'm just going to put these together here. So I can make sure that they are even. Oopsies. And I just did that all wrong, but. And I'm just talking about where I put the glue and trying to stick both of them together. Okay. So it'll be, it'll look like that. So let me do this one. gonna turn it like this. Let me bend this in a little bit more. Okay. There we go. And now it should look something like this. And what we're gonna do next is take this part and we're gonna bring it up and that quarter, I'm sorry, that three or three eighths inch flap, we're gonna fold it over like so. So let me go ahead on and put adhesive here. Let me see, let me get this in frame. We'll put the adhesive here, making sure I get close to the edges. And I am gonna put a line here because reptile glue, um, they say that you have to let it get sticky or tacky before you adhere it. And uh, this is just my way of trying to give it a chance to get tacky. So I'm going to fold this piece over. And where's my, so I can find my bone folder. Here we are. I'm going to take my bone folder and we're going to spread this out throughout the this box here okay come on okay there we go and we're gonna do the same thing on this side just gonna Put the adhesive here. Bring it on this side, close to the edge. Down here. And I'm gonna put it throughout this large part here. And up here. And I'm just gonna bring the box down to meet the side. And then push the flap in like that and I'm going to take this bone folder to get some really good adhesion from the glue to the paper and this is the base of our paper caddy here we are now we just need to get to putting that little that middle piece together so this is the base let's get to the middle piece Okay, and now for the center piece or the center box, you're going to need a sheet cut at 10 by 9.5. And, and on the 9.5 inch side, you're going to score at 3 and 3 quarters and 5 and 3 quarters. You're going to do a quarter turn, and on the 10 inch side, you're going to score at 2 and at 8. That don't look like 2. Hold on, y'all. That's the eight part. Let me make sure this part is at two. It's a little bit off. Like, I guess that next one down or whatever. There we go. All right. So at two and at eight. I'm glad I used that to check that. And of course, you're going to score on, I mean, score, you're going to go ahead on and fold on your score lines. Make sure I get this. Okay, there we go. And I'm gonna score, I'm gonna fold here and here. 
And what we're going to do is cut out these two tabs right here. You're not going to cut them off. You're just going to release them from the paper. I'm going to cut like this. Right here, up to the score line. And on this side. And if you want to do an angle cut on this, feel free. I may go ahead on and do an angle cut because I can't cut straight anyway. Seems like a, a, a angle cut. It doesn't have to be as big as mine, but I think an angle cut is, will, will work. I just do a small one on this one. And what also what we're going to do is we're going to take away, let's just say, three quarters of this small tab. So I'm just going to cut away like that. I'm not measuring or anything. Just going to cut away about three quarters of it. That's it. Okay. And then it'll look like this. So now what we're going to do is we're just going to adhere these together. I'm just going to put some adhesive here. And I'm going to put it on one of these sides. Now I changed this because I wanted this part in the middle to be a little bit more neat looking. Okay, so I'm just going to do this right here and bring this up and over to here like this. And I'll show you guys what I mean in a second. Let me get this together here. Make sure that this is squared. Ooh, I hope I was in the camera, guys. If I wasn't, I'm sorry. I think that's about right, right there. I hope so, anyway. And I'm just going to go inside here and mash here. Okay. Now let me show you real quick what I was talking about. Where's the first bag? Here it is. Let me see if it's on here. Okay, so you may be able to see it. You see how you can see the tab there and then you can see the opening where where they meet right there. I just wanted that to come all the way over so it'll look like one, one piece. So we're going to do that again on this side over here. Let me go back and get this stuck down a little bit better here. Let's pay a little bit more close attention to the edges. I'm going to do this side right here. I stuck a pin in there. I thought I did. Oh, like the pin is over there. It looked like a little pin with the little white, little white glue blob on top. Just going to put some here. And I'm going to put it here. Can you see? Oh, I'm not even in the camera. Here and here. And I'm just putting adhesive on one of the larger tabs. Because I'm going to bring this one in first. And try to make sure it's squared with the bottom. And then I'm going to come back with the second one, or the other one, and make sure it's squared. And then we're going to mash and get everything stuck down. Okay. There we go. And then that way we have this number right here. Just like that. And now let's get on with the Paulette Pocket. Okay, now let's get to the Paulette Pocket. You're going to need four 5x4 five four pieces of paper for the four pockets on the outside, on the long side here. And then you're going to need two 6 and a half by 4 pieces of paper for those two pockets. And I've already put the shorter pockets together the smaller ones but I'm going to show you what to do on the larger pockets since the technique and the measurements are really the same alright so what you're going to do is on your long side whether it be the 5 by 4 or the 6.5 by 4 you're going to 
score at one half. Let me make sure it's up here right. You want to score at one half inch, and you can't see it from there. Let me pull it back this way. You still ain't gonna be able to see it. Then you're gonna do it at three quarters inch, and then at one inch, and just turn it. You're gonna do it again, one half inch, three quarters inch, and one inch. And those same measurements go for the smaller pockets, the four by five inch. And then you're gonna turn it, and you're gonna make a score at one inch. So now that we have that, we put this away. And it should look like that. What I'm going to do, where's my scissors? I'm just going to cut these out. I'm going to cut these tabs out right here on the end. We're going to cut, we're going to cut this piece right here off. And I'm going to angle cut these. On both sides. like so okay and it'll look like this now what I do to try and make my gusset be kind of even I always take and I start folding on the middle score I start to fold on that middle score line so I just fold that one to the middle trying to line it up like that so that's how I do it I take the middle one and I fold it and then I come back and fold the other two and which order is really up to you however you want to do it but this is just the way that I do it so that I can try to make it stay or get even so again I find what I want to be the outside of my pocket I take that middle fold and fold it first making sure that it's even or as even as I can get it and then I go back and fold the other two. Let me fold. Let me do it this way. Fold that one first, and then come back and fold this one. Okay. Now that I've got this folded, I'm gonna fold the bottom up here. There we go. And now I have my adhesive, and I'm just going to glue these together. And I'm going to use a, a couple of binder clips to hold this in place until it dries. So I got small binder clips. Oopsies. Where are you? Come on, thing. I'm just going to put one here to hold it. And I'm going to put one here. There we go. And I'm going to let those sit there and hold while they dry and this is what the gu the gusseted pocket this is how it looks i don't know if you guys can see that i can't see it in my viewfinder maybe because my mirror dirty but that's it okay so now what i'm going to do is i'm not gonna this will probably be the last thing i put in we're gonna put on the pockets now i'm not gonna lie to you guys I had a hard time getting these on, but that may have been because I put this on first. So I'm going to get these pockets on and let's see how this is going to work out. So I'm going to do this. Put this here. Put this here. And let me put some right across the bottom right here. Okay. And I'm going to I'm going to line up this this side of the gusset with the with this corner of the bag or the box whatever you want to call it and I'm going to try and make sure that they are even okay there there so what I'm going to do so I'm actually going to take a, one of these clippies and to hold it right there for me while I play with this bottom part to make sure that it's right Okay. There we go. 
Now, I'm just using these to make sure that I get a good hold. And uh, so I just I just clip those right there to hold this in place for me. I can't clip it on the side to hold it, so I clipped it right there. Let me move it over a little bit. There we go. To hold this in place. There we go. And I wish there was a way to hold it here. You know, something that I could clip on to hold it right here. But there isn't. So I'm going to hold this in place until it dries or sets. And then I'll be right back. Okay, I think it's held good enough. So you can see a little bit of the glue that's not quite dry right there. But I think it's good. I don't want to take these off just yet. I'm going to do one more. And then I will do the large pocket. And then once I get done with the large pocket, we're going to get started on the straps. Okay. I'm going to line this one up to this side. Now I'm not doing the layers because you guys can you guys can do that part I'm sure without my help and I think I did it in the first one too okay so I'm going to get another couple binder clips and I'm gonna put these on here I think that's good Like I said, these are just to hold these in place while the glue dries. And I'm going to hold these in place while this glue dries. And is that straight? See, it's not even straight. But I'm not going to take it apart now. I don't I think it's, it, it's, it's, I think it's set enough. Yeah, it did. But I'm not going to worry about it. It's just a little off. I mean show you guys see I don't know if you you may or may not be able to see it but it's a little off right there so let me get the big one on I'm gonna put this back on to hold it in place and I'm gonna get this big one on so I have one that's dry this is the other larger pocket that was dry already and I'm gonna get this on Just gonna put a line close to the bottom and again I'm going to line this pocket up this one I'm lining up at the bottom and I'm trying to center it okay okay Let me get two more clips here to hold this on while I hold on to the bottom so that the bottom can adhere properly. Okay, so I'm going to do that and I'll be back. I got these on. I'm going to hold on and mess, keep uh, messing with this bottom right here till it, till it sets and I'll be back. Okay, next we're going to work on the belt. And I've done three. I, two of these are going to be for the handles. Like this. However it goes. Like that. Two of these are going to be for the handles like this. And this one is going to be for the smaller straps. Now, this is a 2 inch by 12 inch piece. And I scored it at, let me see. I scored this piece at one quarter inch and one and three eighths inch. And this is on the, the 12 inch side. And of course, adhere them. And next I'm going to just cut this in three inch strips. 
So I should get four smaller belts out of this one. So that's three. One. Two. Three and four. So what I'm going to do now is take these pieces here and I'm going to score them on one side at one inch. So I'm just going to turn them all up, seam side up, and I'm just going to score them all at one inch. There we go. That's no, no big deal, just a one inch. Just one inch. And um, for my straps, I'm going to score them at, at one inch on both sides. Okay guys, sorry about the interruption, but I scored each one of these at the one inch mark and then I'm folding them just like this and this is going to be my belt loop okay and even the little small ones on the little one inch side doing these as well Okay, how many is that? That's two, four, six, eight. So I'm going to need eight. Eight of these little things. Two, four, six, and eight. And all I'm going oh to do... Oh, Lord. Y'all, I'm sorry. All over again. But I forgot. I know I'm supposed to be gluing these things together. So I'm just going to adhere these. Put right there close it. I'm trying to keep it so that it'll, it'll be enough adhesive on the ends and also it will um, have enough room to allow my D-rings to go through. And we're going to discuss those D-rings in a second. We might as well discuss it now because we ain't got nothing else to do. But I like the D-rings. Don't get me twist. Don't get it twisted. I think they, they're great but I also think that if you don't have access to D-rings go ahead on and get these book rings from Dollar Tree they work just as well so let me finish putting the adhesive on these things and I'll be back alright guys we're in the home stretch here I got the, band, the um, what are these the straps here and I'm just going to take, this is one of my makeup brushes. And I'm just going to go ahead on and put it through here to go ahead on and open this up. And I'm holding where the glue is and I've got it and I'm going to push down just to open it up just like that. So that was the fourth one of those. And we're going to do it with the the handles same thing hold it here and push down here I'm going to hold it here where the glue is open that up with my fingernail and push down here so now we got our loops open okay and we're still not about to use those but we're gonna we're gonna work with those in just a second but you know what I'm going to do? Because this is going to be a bare bones project. I'm going to use the belt, the, not the belt loops. I'm going to use these book rings. And another thing is because I should have put these on and then adhered them. That's another reason why I'm not using these. So, but if anybody say anything... I'm using them because we're just going to use the belt. These are book, these book rings. What I'm going to do now is adhere our smaller straps to the inside of the caddy. So let's do this. And I'm going to use an inch. So 
from right here because I want the finished side to show. I'm just going to eyeball it like right here and put this on the finished side. Okay, that's great. It would be stopped up. Ouch. Let me get my, my pen if it'll come on out of here. Jeez. Just open this up. Okay, again, on the finished side out, we're going to use a, an inch here. And I'm going to be very generous. I'm going to put it against the corner in here. I don't know, can you see that? I'm going to put it against that corner. And let me let me use paper clips this time. I'm going to use a paper clip. Put the long side on the inside to hold this in place as it as it dries. So that is how it's looking, just like that. Hold that in place while it dries. So let's get the rest of these. On the finished side, about an inch here, generous amount of adhesive, very generous. Okay, make sure it's connecting here. take another paper clip and I know my hand is in the way you guys can't see let me, go. Let me fix this okay and there is the second one so let's do the third and the fourth Finished edge outward. So it's about right there. So now that we have all of those in place that you may or may not be able to see, there we go, we're going to get these loops on here. And like I say, these are just book rings from Dollar Tree. This size, I don't know what the size is, but eight of these come in a pack. I'm sorry, 10 of these come in a, in a pack. This is that small ring, the next size up eight of them come in a pack and then you have the really large ones so I'm just gonna take this and see and then you could just push that on through like that so it'll hide that that what is this this joint right here it'll hide it so let me show you that one more time just put it through here get it on through there just like that and what I'm going to do again is going to let those let these things right here dry and we're going to come back whoa this is tight one we're going to come back and finish this okay guys let's go ahead on and get this finished and these Hopefully, our dry have been away maybe 10 minutes. Okay, now let's get these belts on. Now what I do 
of course you know you can take your bone folder and bevel these and I also go back and do this number so I can get more of, of this type of feel and I'm just going to add these and close them up Okay, that's one. Let's get that back over there. That's two. Okay. Oopsies, I think I twisted it. Wait a minute, I got it on wrong. Hold on. Now we cooking with Crisco, about to have a grease fire. There we go. Now we go. Now we got it. Now we got it. We got these last two. This must be that really hard one that I had came that I had gotten. That sucker didn't, didn't want to act right. Okay, we got that closed. And let's get you closed. Ouch. There we go. Up oh, again. Need to pay more attention. Okay, here we go. It's on here. Come on. Are you closed? No. Come on, thing. Okay. No, I'm gonna leave it like that because it, it's not. It didn't snap. Okay, there we go. It snapped that time. Whew. Okay. And we got this part done. And the last part, I'm gonna put in the middle divider. And I'm not, am I going to, or not? Okay, let me just show you guys real quick. Where, where are they? All right, I just want to show you real quick now how, or about the middle, adhering this middle piece. Now, on this one, I did not adhere it. As you can see, it's open all the way down on both sides there and it's just adhered on the bottom and it's still nice this one it is adhered and it's still nice so that part is a hundred percent and totally up to you okay so on this one I'm just going to adhere the bottom just because and of course you can adhere the bottom you can adhere the sides you can adhere one side both sides it don't matter you don't have to adhere any other sides Matter of fact, if you don't want to adhere this middle piece, you don't have to. It's really up to you. Whatever you want to do. Whatever makes you happy. Whatever floats your boat. All that type of stuff. And I'm going to try and sit this in the middle here. There we go. Let me put the top back on this before I do anything else. And... Get my bone folder here and go in here and spread the glue out. Turn it so I can get 
to the side. And what I'm going to do is just going to take my point here and just get into the corners a little bit. And go down the side just to make sure I get some good adhesion. And in the corners again. There we go. Okay, and here you have it. Here is our bare bones paper craft caddy 2.0 with the Paulette pocket and an honorable mention to Miss Cindy Merrill or Morell. She was the one that suggested putting the pockets on before putting like this part in because I think the first one I put this part in maybe even the second one I put the middle part in first so with me not putting that middle part in and just putting the pockets on first and even putting the shorter belt loops on that was a tremendous help so thank you Miss Cindy Merle for that or Morel for your suggestion okay guys this is it again this is the craft caddy my paper craft caddy 2.0 with the Paulette pocket I want to thank you guys so much for taking time out of your day to watch my video if you haven't I would greatly appreciate it if you would subscribe to my channel also if you like this video please give it a thumbs up all your comments I truly appreciate it come back anytime and I'll see you all in my next video bye bye love bugs